co-host Peter in just a few minutes. Uh, we're going to get everything set up for you backstage, and you're right there. Come on up. Uh, I want to introduce to you all, though, our new crew guy, Jerry. This is his first day with us and his very first show here. Can everyone give Jerry a huge round of applause? Jerry, come on up. Jerry? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Very, very cool. If you stand here, they'll start clapping. Watch. See? Some people will clap a lot. Some people will scream. Some people will clap. Some people will scream. Some will clap and scream. Some people will take a picture. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. My name is Peter. I'm the host that Susan might have mentioned. But more important, this is Mina. Give her a hand, please. She's one of you. Mina is here with Akira. He is your boyfriend. Husband. You finally got married. It's about time. So they're going to be our finale couple. But we're going to do something right now because he's getting ready, okay? So Mina, come with me this way. Jerry? Yeah. Jerry? Yeah. Where are you? Right here. Where? Behind me. Oh, you're like a mouse. Can you help with this car? Okay. Thank you. I don't like you. So listen, <laughs> we're going to do a little demonstration on horror movies. You guys like horror movies? Yeah. Do you like scary movies? Good. This is all about movie blood. Black and white movies, what do we use for movie blood? Anybody? Not ketchup. Shout out, shout out. Chocolate syrup. It was chocolate syrup. Black and white movies, chocolate syrup. So when you saw all that blood in Psycho going down the drain in the shower, chocolate syrup. I cry every time. Come over here, Mina. <laughs> Jerry, you want to help out? Oh, you mean like a volunteer? Yes, do you want to volunteer? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right, hold the table and don't talk. I'll show you what we use today for movie blood, and we'll compare it with it's Mina's okay. blood. What? What? Uh, oh, oh, I, okay, I'm sorry. I won't use that knife, okay? It's not safe. Don't worry. I'll use a smaller knife. It's going to take a little longer, but I promise you, it will hurt. Here we go. It's okay. It's okay, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, before I do this, don't try this at home. That's right. Kids, please try this at a friend's house. <laughs> he has no friends. Turn around this way. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I need a blood curdling scream from you. Okay? Scream. Horror movie scream. Okay? You ready? Here we go. <laughs> I didn't just steal your wallet, Mina. I'm going to cut your arm off. Okay? Wait till I cut you. She's so drunk, you guys. Okay, here we go. Ready, Dan? Action. What? If the audience is feeling a little squeamish, they should probably look away. Yes, if you're squeamish, look at the side screens. I'm oh. so sorry. Oh! I'm so sorry. Peter! Come on the side. Come on the side. Peter! Is that supposed to happen? No, but I'm almost in the bone, so. Look, dead hand. Dead hand. Oh. It's a fake knife. What do you mean, oh? You people are sick. <laughs> Red food coloring corn syrup, that's what we use today. It comes out the tube, the cutouts for the arm, the knife, completely dull. Standard movie blood knife, you guys. Give her a hand, she did a great job. She had no idea. Nina, good job. So go ahead. Come stand right here. We have a gift for you. Look, it's your husband. Akira, you look good. Very good, very good. So go ahead, that's next. So you're going to sit right there. We'll see you at the end of the show, okay? Anything she tells you was a lie. Go sit. <laughs> Have a seat. You guys ready for a show? Special effect. 
Let me show you what I mean. Moving pictures, individual images that we watch. Watch these images in the right order, right lighting, right speed. Voila! You get moving pictures! Is there anyone left in your country? <laughs> that is ridiculous. 
So here, you're going to take the family up the Australian River. So grab the wheel. Now watch, everyone on the boat, everything's going to stay right where it is. But things will move. Cue the rear screen. Look at that. We're sailing up the Australian Hey, Jerry. You are literally in the water. <laughs> swim, Jerry, swim. <laughs> Alright, so you guys, let's go on a trip. Mom and Dad, point things out to the kids. Kids, look over there, there's a tree. Kids, look over there, there's a cloud. You guys, clouds are up, they're in the sky. I know you're from down under, but they're still up there. Kids, look over there, there's a fish. Those are in the water. Let's not homeschool these children, okay? You're being attacked by mosquitoes. Get them off. Get them off. Not you, Harry. It's not the Titanic. Grab the wheel. Now look at me again. Something smells bad. Show me. Ew, stinky. Everybody, look at Dad. Ew, stinky. You're being attacked by tentacles. Scream! Scream! Still watching. That's oh. it. I didn't see anything. Did you guys see anything? None of us saw a thing. Right. What? The best visual effects are the ones you never see. You set us up. I did. You look tricky. Mm, mm, only the actors were really there. Everything else added digitally. The buildings, the signs, the cars, even the people on the sidewalks. Those are visual effects. Computer generated enhancements added to a scene after it's been shot. Let's see how this works. Oh, now we're going to bring these guys and put in front of a green screen. Green screens don't always have to be green. They can be different colors. Orange, violet, blue. It just has to be a color that stands out. Wow, this makes your job harder. You have to react to things that aren't actually there. So I'm going to direct you. Let's get a sound effects, Larry, like a waterfall and birds and crickets. You can count all that. Cool. Am I missing anything here? Well, yeah. I had a monster in my screen. second to film. Think about it. A movie like Paranorman, 120,000 frames. Everything you're seeing is done by hand. You can't do it with a computer. You're right, Peter. Can't do that with a computer. Oh, but there's more, Susan. That's what I was going to say. Oh, good. So the genius of like it is that they seamlessly combine all kinds of special effects to create their movies. So computers were used to visualize Norman's world and everything in it. Buildings, cars, even the puppets themselves. And all their different faces and expressions. And there were hundreds of them, which were produced separate physical pieces on special 3D printers. Computers also control the camera movements, panning, zooming, tracking only one image at a time. Now 
once the film was shot, visual effects artists went back in and digitally added more like creepy fog, floating spirits, and other ghostly effects. Now when you put all of that together, what you get is Oscar nominated Paranorman. <laughs> You are. I want to give that a few minutes. All right, amazing technology to bring us that type of film. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. And now that we bridge the gap between practical and visual effects, let's shed some light on 3D animation. When we say shed some light, we mean give you illumination. Illumination Entertainment and Chris Melodondri have given us Despicable Me, The Lorax, and their most recent movie that came out last summer, Despicable Me 2. Most recent game. What's up? More recent hit. More recent hit. That's their proving there are no limits to animation. Those guys I think are related to Jerry. <laughs> I see the resemblance. Now let's take a peek at how the creative geniuses add illumination make the minions. I mean, you ever wonder how many minions does it take to make a minion? Actually, this morning. You missed morning, you that. Well, it takes scores of producers, directors, writers, actors, artists, designers, and technicians to handle it. It's like a minions. village. Exactly, a city. First, they visualize the movie. In the storyboard department, artists rough out the entire film in a series of sketches, just like a comic strip. Then they create an animatic. They edit all that together to form a flip book. <laughs> Believe it or not, this first step is just the bare bones. All right, do minions have bones? <laughs> they do not. <laughs> Yes, they do. Yeah. I have no idea where that is. I don't know. Next, the actors come in and they record the characters' voices. Yeah! From Target. From Target? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What department? Home Goods. Home Goods? Yeah. Give me the hat, Jerry. Okay. Uh, tell Lady Gaga we found her hat. <laughs> <laughs> Charming. Come on down, Charming. You can stand right here, right? Alright. Let's activate our perimeter sensors and he'll be glowing. The markers on his suit reflect light now into our sensors, and that's how we capture their locations. So let's see the capture on our screens. We can show you guys what it looks like in a computer. So wait, that's Jerry? Yeah, the markers on his suit are now the dots on the screens. So Jerry, do a T pose on something like this. Like that? Yeah, that's great right there. So hold that. We start with this T pose to mark the beginning of a take. We want to Whoa, whoa, Jerry, no, Jerry, stop! Jerry, there's children watching. <laughs> Jerry, you gotta be careful. We can see everything you're doing on three giant screens. This outfit is really tight, Susan. <laughs> you can see that too. So take your right hand, touch the tip of your nose. Your other right hand. Sorry. That's the one back again. <laughs> one more time. All right, Jerry, you're doing a great job so far. We're gonna keep you moving. So now do some jumping jacks. Okay. Awesome. All right, you got a stick man doing uh, P90X. Oh yeah, there's more, Peter. Get ready. Jerry, jog in place. Okay. Great, just turn to your left. See? Wow. Using the capture movements, yeah, we create a digital skeleton, then a wired frame, which we fill in with skins to turn Jerry into anything. Jerry, you're now a hideous stroll! Stroll on, Jerry! Yeah. Nice. Right. What else? Right. <laughs> All righty. Oh, he's got a club in his right hand, so yeah. Swing the club. Nice. All right, let's have some fun with 